Okay, now let's uh, do a practice question. Now, this count correction may seem very complicated, but just make sure you know which one are reactants, which one are products. So these are reactants, and these are products. Okay. Now, when you see AQ, that means aqueous. So the chemical is in a solution form. Okay. Now, sometimes the solution may have a color, and the color indicates how the chemical reaction goes. Right? So the reactant color is a pink, and the product color is blue. So again, these colors can tell you whether the chemical reaction is going to the left or going to the right. So it can be very helpful in, chem uh, in chemistry. And CO, that's cobalt. Um, that's just a transitional metal. All right. Um, so the question asks, equilibrium would favor the product side. So you're trying to move the chemical reaction from left to right. If which of the following occurs? If you want the reaction to move to the right, you could increase reactant concentrations, right? Because the more reactants you have, the more the chemical equilibrium wants to use that reactants and go to the right. So which option has more reactants added to the chemical reaction? A and B. Now, what if you add one of the product? And C and D, you are adding more products, right? So that's going to make the chemical reaction go to the left. So the correct answer is A and B. Okay, next question. Okay, so this one is a little bit complicated because first I'm using color to indicate which direction I want to go. And second, the answers that have both temperature and uh, chemical concentration. So let's see. The, the solution would turn from blue to pink. So blue is here in the product on the product side and pink is on the reactant side. So if the solution turns from blue to pink, then you know that we're talking about the shift from right to left, right? From product to reactants. So there's one way to do that, right? If you increase the concentrations of products, then that will make the chemical reaction go to the left, right? Is it in the answer whether we increase the cobalt chloride concentration or water concentration? D is about water, but water is removed. So that's the opposite of what we want to do. We want to increase the concentration for these two products. So that one is not correct. Now, there's another way to make this shift from right to left. We could decrease the concentrations of reactants, right? Um, and that way, the chemical reaction will also move to the left. B is one of the correct answers, right? Because you are removing one of the um, reactants, which is chloride. So B is correct. Now, how about temperature? Should we increase the temperature or decrease the temperature? So on the right, it generates heat, right? If you increase the temperature, then the chemical reaction wants to shift to the left because then they can use the heat, right, to counteract this increase of heat. So increase the temperature will also make the chemical reaction shift to the left. So A is also correct. If you decrease the temperature, then the chemical reaction wants to make more heat, right, to counteract that. C will make the chemical reaction shift to the right. 
So the correct answer is A and B. Okay, one more question. In the reaction of the starch being broken down by amylase. So you can tell whether you know amylase or not. Hopefully by this point you know what amylase is. But if you don't know, you can take a guess because it ends with ASE. So it's probably an enzyme. And also we're talking about chemical reaction rate, right? So um, chances are this is an enzyme that can break down starch. So which one is the false statement? Is A, amylase is the catalyst and it speeds up chemical reaction by lowering the activation energy. That's a correct statement, so that's not the answer. The reaction is a hydrolysis. That's also correct. If you remember, when we talk about macromolecules, right, we talk about two types of uh, chemical reactions. A hydrolysis, that's when you break down big molecules to small molecules. Now, how about you want to use small molecules to synthesize big molecules. That's dehydration synthesis. So hydrolysis, dehydration synthesis, they do the opposite things. What about C? This reaction can occur in the mouth or small intestine. That's correct. Starch uh, digestion can occur both in the mouth or in the small intestine. D, the reaction can occur outside the body at a similar reaction rate. That's a false statement. So that's the correct answer. The amazing thing about enzymes in our body is that they can uh, dramatically increase the chemical rate without any uh, extreme conditions. It speeds up chemical reactions hundreds and thousands times higher than if the chemical reaction occurred at room temperature outside our body. Uh, for example, if you want to break down starch, right, amylase can do that um, within seconds um, as you're chewing something in your mouth, right? Starch is being broken down. But if you just put starch solution uh, in a test tube at room temperature, it would take a long time. And probably you have to heat up the solution to um, get it going. So enzymes are really, really amazing molecules that uh, are present in our body to help us uh, speed up all the chemical reactions needed for our body's uh, normal maintenance and growth. All right, that's the end of this lesson. Uh, I hope you guys have learned something useful and hopefully this will prepare you better for teas. Thank you for your support and I will see you next time.